Hey guys, it's Jen, and this is Coffee, Jory, and Jokes. If you're new here, thank you for checking out my video. And this is a little show where I sort through jewelry and look for things that I can resell or keep. Um, but before I get to the video, I just want to talk about something. I haven't been on the past week or so. Um, well, for two reasons. One is I was waiting for some jewelry. Um, but more than that, I've just really been somewhat heartbroken um, by everything that's going on right now in the world. And I just think of all the people in the world that are angry and that are suffering. And even the people that are causing the suffering. Um, and I think about all of them. And then I think about the one who can bring peace and who can end the suffering. And that's Jesus. Um, if you're not a Christian, just bear with me because I'm reading a couple verses in the next few minutes. Um, and then I'll be done. I'll get to the jewelry. But for anybody who is a Christian, you may be able to relate to some of this. So I was reading today in Isaiah. And I came across a verse. And it just really touched me. It like made me think. Um, it was in Isaiah 41, and it's Isaiah 41.10, and it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help you, or help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And then I thought about Jesus and how he's at the right hand of the Father. And he's described as being at the right hand of the Father um, in the New Testament. And I thought that's really interesting. Because in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament it's saying. The right hand of my righteousness. And Jesus is the righteousness of God. Um, and that just really. Like touched me. And then. I was reading in. Mark. And I got to Mark. Um, four. And it starts in verse 35. It says. And the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him. And they said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, What manner of man is this? that even the wind and the sea obey him. And I was thinking about that, the power that Jesus has over everything, over the whole earth, over everyone. And all he wants is our faith. And if we do have faith, we can move mountains because he changes us and he changes the world that way. But there was one more thing that I read, and it was in Matthew. It was in chapter 11, and it's verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And that really touched me too because, you know, it's very simple. He says to come to him and he'll give you peace. And you won't have the weight, like the weight of the world on you anymore. Um, you know, and then I thought of who he really was or is. And basically, he's like the epitome of love because... You know, he talks about love and he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And he also says, love your neighbor as yourself. But then when I think about what love is, it's love is patient 
and love is kind. You know, it does not envy. It does not boast. It's not puffed up, but it builds up. And it believes all things, bears all things, hopes all things, and adores all things. And a lot of people are enduring a lot right now. But my hope is that one day they'll see that the one that came to give them eternal life and to give them peace came 2,000 years ago. And you can search and search your whole life and look for that peace in everything else. But you won't find it. So. I just thought I'd like say that because. I really just felt like I needed to. And I don't know if there's someone watching this video that need to hear that. Um, but the world is dark. And there's a lot going on in this world that's causing tremendous suffering. And I pray for those people too that are causing all the suffering because Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you and do good to those who despitefully use you. And in our own minds, in our, like, in our human will, we can't imagine forgiving somebody that would commit atrocities against us or anyone else. And yes, they should pay, like people should pay for their deeds and if they cause harm to others, they should be held accountable, of course. But God's forgiveness is not like ours. Like, we don't have God's mind. But Jesus says, have the mind of Christ. And if you know him, you can do that because the Holy Spirit tells you and shows you within yourself. So... Anyway, I'm sorry that it took so long to say those things, but it's just been a really emotional week and it's been tough. And I haven't even suffered, but I can feel the suffering of other people. Um, so yeah, so that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, so anyway, I'll get to the video and... For all the new people, I always have coffee. My daughter gave me that mug. It says cat mom because I have a cat and she's cute. So there's that. And if you guys want to order anything, there's my email. You need that in order to place an order. So you'll need that. Um, and... I won't give prices here, but if you're interested in something, just leave me a message in the comments. So, I'm going to open this big box. We'll see what's in here. We will see. Hopefully, I'll find something good. All right. Can there be anything worthwhile in this shop Goodwill lot? I don't even know what this is because I ordered like four boxes, guys. So I don't know which one I got. So it's a surprise. Hopefully I find something interesting because I have so much jewelry here I have to get rid of. And some of it I'm putting on eBay as a big lot. Oh, and for new people... It's called coffee jewelry and jokes because some of the jewelry I get, I throw in a box. I call it a joke box. Because it's jewelry I don't think I can sell as, like, wearable jewelry. So I call it, call it a joke. Anyway, let's get to this. I'm sorry if I sound down. I'll try to um, sound a little more excited. <laughs> but I'm okay, though. All right. Ooh, these are cute. Look at these earrings. They're kind of weird. These are metal, but I don't know if they're signed. Hold on. Oh, you know what I forgot to get out? I have to get my little gem tester. So I'll get that out in a minute. Okay, so these are not signed. They're interesting. 
They're very like late 70s, early 80s, in my opinion. Wait a minute. Now I can't get this in. Oh, okay. So here you go. Pretty funky. All right. Yeah, I really don't remember what is in here. All right, let's look at this one. Redstones. I don't know what that is. They're very cold. But my jump tester is not plugged in, so I'll check that in a little while. Here's the big safety pin. That's humongous. Does anyone need a big safety pin? Wow. I don't even know if that opens. It's stuck. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, it does. That is huge. Hold on. Look at that. I have never seen a safety pin that big. Jeez. Wow. So there's that. Oh, I like this. Look at this little pin. That is so cute. I wonder how it works. No. Oh, yes, it does. Look. That is so cute. And it changes color. That is so cool. Oh, I like that. I really like that. It says something on the back. Probably made, yeah, made in China. But that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> <coughs> oh, and also I have a cold. So I've been like under the weather for about a week. It has not been fun. But I'm taking a decongestant and all that. All right, here's a watch. Quartz. And it's not working, of course. It's always the way. Come on, give me something good in this bag. All right, I need to wake up, guys. I'm doing this late at night. So, what the heck is that? I don't know. All right, then we have a little rice pearl bracelet. It's, looks like it's, oh, it's a little stretched out. But I don't think it's gold or anything. Hold on, I'm going to check it really quick. Give me a second. Just a second. Bear with me. Okay, it says pat pen or no patent and it has a number. So there's that one. And I have a rain video on my TV if you can hear the thunder. <laughs> That's where it's coming from. This is interesting. Look at this pin. That looks like a submarine. That's it. I've never seen one like that. That is wild. Wait, I'm going to look at the back of this. This one says Kinney P-R-O-V Excuse me. R-I I think it's Rhode Island. Oh, Kinney Province maybe? That is really cool. Very cool. I don't usually get many pins. Here's a bracelet. It has some leaves. That looks like it's old. I'm looking for anything written on it. But no, nothing's written on it, of course. But that's unusual. It's in pretty good shape. And it's it's really like stiff though. You can't you can't really bend it. Well, you might be able to a little, but that's different. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. 
Oh, this is another cute pin. With a little metal and enamel flower. And I don't know if anything's written on it. It's kind of cool though. I don't think I see anything there. Wait. Yeah, I do. Let's see what's on it. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Wait. No, I think it's just a design. Yeah, no. But it's cute. So there's that. Here is a really dirty bracelet. That has seen better days. So this one will go in the joke box. Yeah. Then we have a pearl bracelet. This actually feels real. But I'm not sure. Oh no, it's just glass. It's not bad. That's cute. And we have this. Uh, just clasps. Not sure what you'd wear this for, but somebody might like that. All right, what is next here? Okay, what are these earrings? Fashion jewelry. And they are a gold tone with some yellow fabric. There's that. I'm waiting to get the good piece. Or several good ones. Several valuable pieces. <laughs> oh, this is a cute one. Look at this. It has some blue rhinestones. I'm going to see if they're all there. That's actually nice. Uh, well, all the stones are there. And this one is almost 16 inches. So see? Very pretty. Fancy. And it's vintage. That's nice. I want to see if it says anything on the clasp. Probably not now. But it's still cute. So that's on there. I get a million of these. Like tons of necklaces like this. Just every day, run of the mill. And I don't see anything on it. Oh wait, yes I do. This one's marked. Let's see what's that. What is it? Stainless steel. Malor, Italy. I didn't expect that. I've never heard of that before. Malor, Italy. Or Mylor. It's just a simple little necklace with these silver tone discs. Hmm. Unusual. All right, what do we have here? This looks like it's a multi-chain necklace, wait a minute. Of course, these get tangled all the time, so I'm not gonna spend the time to untangle all of it. Let's just try to get it untangled a little. Oh. So, it has a few chains. There's a little disc with some rhinestones and then two more or three more chains. So, and it's not marked. So there's that one, but I'll untangle it later. Uh, ooh, these are the ones I don't like. I have yet to get a lot that doesn't have necklaces like this. They get so tangled and I'm not untangling them right now. There are three necklaces all tangled together. Um, one of them says NY. I'm not sure about the other two, but 
I'll untangle theirs later. All right, what's this? There's a little bracelet watch. It says quartz. And it has some charms. Some crosses and beads. So there's that. It's kind of strange. And the uh, watch part's not working. So there's that. Uh, this one. There's a little rose gold ring. Just costume. And it has something underneath. What does that say? Like that. I can't see that. Hold on. It looks kind of like the Premier Designs. But I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. Yeah, I can't tell what that says. But there it is. And it has a clear stone. It just feels like um, acrylic. So there's that one. What's next? Ooh. Here is a shell bracelet. For all the sea lovers. Yeah. Not bad. It's like a light pink. Kind of cool. And it has good stretch, so it's not stretched out. It's kind of pretty, actually. So, there's that. And when the light hits it, you can see other colors in there. It's kind of cool. All right, what's this one here? I don't even know what that is. I never understood this. Okay, this is Alex Anani. And it says... Um... Wait, Hand of Fatima. But it always says stuff about energy. Which I think is kind of strange. And someone told me, actually it was um, Sherry from Blessed Bobbles. She told me that some of these are silver. I don't think this one is, but I'll have to check it. But anyway, it has a B, a D, and these little, other little ones, let's see. Looks like a, I don't know what that is. But the one side looks like a triangle. And then Alex and Nani. But it's dirty. Oh, and a flag. Heart. So there's that. Ooh, this is cute. Look at this little pin. That's different. It's a little heart with a, a little pearl. What is that? I thought that would be signed. It's small, but it's cute. There's the back. It's kind of cute. This must be a pin lot. Like I said before, I really don't get those much. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I saw this earring when I was looking at the lot. And I don't know why, but I liked it. <laughs> it's just like pom-poms. <laughs> I just think it's cute. And they're like a gold tone. And then they have these little findings there. Oh, it's just cute. Here is a bracelet. That's colorful. Look at that. 
That's actually kind of cool. I don't see any name on this. I do like it though. And then it has these um, rhinestones. That's actually so cute. Wait, let me look at the back. I might say something. I am. I don't know, it has this weird mark here. Hold on. I don't know what that is. And that's the clasp. It's pretty cool. And that is, let me see. That's about seven and three quarter inches. Let's see. That's cute. Here's another pearl bracelet. And these just feel like acrylic. All right, come on. So I hope everybody's doing good today or tonight, whenever you're watching. Look at this one. It's a big chunky necklace. Wait. I keep having a problem with focus. That's pretty. Chunky. And it has two strands. I don't see any mark on it, but that's a fun one. Not bad, not bad. What is this? Lady Lovendale. Have you guys heard of that? Lady Lovendale? I have never heard of that. That's weird. And it has a tag. It says Lady. There's another necklace wrapped around it. Hold on. So these are like a off-white, but clear, somewhat clear. And there's the top. There's the tag. It's pretty cool, actually. Unusual. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I don't know if anybody knows, leave me a comment, because I have never seen that. Okay, this is bizarre. This is dirty, first of all. It's a quartz and it has an anchor. I mean, I could clean it. Something stuck to it. It looks like a sticker. But it's somewhat dirty. Hmm. So there's that. Not working. Oh, that's a cool earring. Look at this earring. That's unusual. Let me try to get my focus better. I don't know. See if I can find the other one. All right. Let's see what else we have in this bag. That's a cool bracelet. It has a feather on each side. This looks like lucite. That looks pretty old. It's cool. It's pink. All right, what's this one? Okay, this one has a tag. Hold on, I'm checking. As I yawn and try to wake up. This is a Chico's. It has some um, 
like carnelian colored beads and glass and metal beads. And it's pretty long. That's in pretty good shape too. I don't think I've seen one like this before. But, so if you're interested, let me know. I wonder if they have any silver jewelry. Probably not. All right, another watch. Here is a snowman watch. That one's cute. And I'm trying to see what it says. Uh, something Watch Corp. AccuTime. And it has a clasp, a fold over clasp. Amen. Kind of cute. But it needs a battery. I must have ordered this from, well, I don't usually say where I order from, but I think I know where I got this one because they always have watches. Okay, this looks like it's broken. So that's a shame. And that will be going in the joke box. But it could have been nice. Unless this connects this way. Wait, no. Definitely broken. Oh well, goodbye. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. I like that. That's a really pretty blue color. And let me see if it's marked. No, but it's nice. It's silver tone inside. And then it has these blue blocks. That is so cute. That one measures about two and a half inches inside. That is really nice. And I paid up for this a little bit. Oh no, we got another pin. Safety pin, that's huge. Strange, but huge. Okay, here is a bracelet with enamel and some rhinestones. Of course, it's missing one. But I can fix it. Hold on. I want to see if it's marked. Probably not. You always have to look, though. Because half the time I don't see it. And then I look at it later and I find a mark. There is a gold tone bracelet with some enamel. And this one is not marked. And it has a little bit of wear. I'll have to look at that closer. Ooh, these are cold. Look at these. I have no idea what stone that is. But if I plug my gem toaster in, I'll be able to tell. Uh, wait a minute. I don't know how I forgot that. I'm just gonna plug it in real quick. Bear with me, guys. See what these stones are. I forgot. And I'm so thankful my jump tester works again because it was broken.
All right. So that's gonna warm up and then I'll check. Now this is heavy. And this one looks like it's just glass. But it's in good shape. I don't see a clasp. That one is probably about 30 inches. Maybe a little more. I'm gonna check. 30 inches. It has some designs on the blue beads. I don't know what that is. A little flower maybe or swirl. So that's pretty. It's so hard to talk on these videos sometimes, guys, because no one's talking back. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know what to say. But I don't know what this is. That is very unique. And that looks like gold somewhat. That's really different. What is that? Have you ever seen a pin like this? Look at the little thing inside. It looks like a little stone. Here's the back. I have no idea. That's weird. It's kind of cool, but weird. All right, just had this little chain. Another watch. This one, it's kind of fancy. That one says, wait a minute, Anne Klein. But as you can see, it's pretty tarnished. That almost looks like silver. I wonder, could it be? Let me see. No, China. Uh, I don't know if Van Klein has any silver pieces, but that looked like silver. Uh, I don't know, but it's a pretty band. See that? I'll have to see if I can clean it up a little. Wait. Just says stainless steel back and it's quartz. Well, I could have sworn this was silver. Do you hear that thunder? I'm having a major storm on my television. Yeah, I don't see anything. Here's another watch. And that one. I'm not sure what that says. I cannot read that. I'm gonna check. Annabelle. Ooh, Annabelle. All right, let me move some of this out of the way. I'll look at those again. I like to keep this space a little bit um, cleared out. All the jewelry piles up. Okay. This is a pretty one, although the chain has some wear. Hold on, I'll show it to you. What is that? R, no, BJ, I think. Oh, Betsy Johnson. That's cute. It has some faux pearls and these little pieces. And it has some rhinestones and uh, enamel. Looks like, sort of. 
I don't know. Look at that. It's sad though, because the chain looks a little worn. It's actually not too bad. But I don't know if someone would want it because the chain's not in perfect condition. But these are cute. So there's that. Come on. Come on, good jewelry. This is a nice earring. That's a cute flower. But I don't see the other one yet. So I'm going to look for it. Hopefully it's here. Oh, these are cute. Oh my, look at these. Kate Spade. Those are cute. They're little bows. They are really dear. Very nice. And they're a gold tone. With rhinestones. So if anybody's interested in Kate Spade earrings, let me know. This is a cute little watch. And that one says Kolesiar. And it has a wire band. That looks old. Actually, it fits me. My, I have a really small wrist. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It needs a battery. Unless it's a wind up. Wait a minute. Probably not. No. But it's cute. It has a Christmas tree. See that? I like that. Okay, another watch. That looks fancy. What does that say? Express, oh. Express LA Quartz. And of course it's missing stones. That's a shame. But again, I could probably fix it. Ooh, here's a pair of earrings. Hold on, I have a necklace tangled. With oh no, wait. Oh, it is a necklace. Oh, it has an earring. Oh, sorry. Here's a little pearl and gold tone necklace with some rhinestones. I don't see a name on it. Well, let me check the clasp. No, it doesn't say anything. But it has a matching earring. I just have to find the other one. And the chain's in good shape. And my hand's getting dirty. Hold on. I can't stand it when my fingers are dirty. So then it shows up in the video. And it looks bad. So, give me a second. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. If anybody goes to Bath and Body Works, you have to get this. It's awesome. It is the best scent. Mm, I could just smell it. It's so good. <clears throat> I love that stuff. Hold on. I'm just trying to wipe my fingers off. Because I don't like the dirt. Okay. What is next here? This one... Let's see. Friends are the sunshine of life. Fabulous 60. And there's a wine glass and a pearl. Faux pearl. That's a nice band. I don't know who made this though. That's pretty cute. So there's that. Oh, what do we have here? What is that? 
Okay, this is very different. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this. So somebody took, it looks like a lid, a can lid, and put shells all over it. And they have shells all over the cord. So, I'm thinking this one should probably go in the joke box, but if somebody's really interested, you can message me. Plus, I'll look it up and see if there are any like this. Whoever did it, whoever made it, took some time to make it, so. It's kind of, it is unique. Wait a minute. Bizarre. But, anyway, there's that. Very strange. Very strange. Yeah, I'm so thirsty. Hmm. I feel like it's been forever since I made a video. All right. What's this? Oh, this is a teddy bear bracelet. That's cute. It's a silver color. And these are like a blue green. That's actually nice. I don't see anything written on it. That's in good condition. I'm looking for a name. Mm. No, I don't see one, but that's nice. Simple. So if somebody likes teddy bears, there you go. Very nice. All right, what's this? Wow, this chain looks pretty good. What is that? I love a matte gold finish. Okay, this is just a ball chain. But look at the clasp. It's like a, well, it looks silver. Wait a minute, it looked gold. But it looks silver through here. Oh, wait. Oh, it is sour. 925. And what's this say? 925. That's a nice chain. And it says Italy. Ooh. That's a good one. Italy. I thought that was nice. I thought it was like a matte gold. But it might just be my light. That's pretty nice. Can you guys see okay? You know what? I'm going to shine the light over here, Mark, because it looks kind of dark. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm waking up. I was in, like, a really somber mood earlier. <laughs> but I'll try to be more interactive, even though you can't interact with me. So that is a nice chain. I am happy I got that. I really like that one. And it has some weight to it. But I have to look this up and see what I can find out. It's very nice. Okay, this is tarnished. So that's no good. And it's tangled. And it's kind of dirty. And there's the clasp. Um, I don't know why I'm even looking at it. What is that say? What does that say? Chico's. I think. Okay. So, this one's going to go in the box. Because it's seen better days. Alright. Another watch. This one says... Geneva. Why do I always get Geneva. In every box that has watches, I get a Geneva watch. At least one. I got um, a Calvin Klein watch a few boxes ago. And that one was worth over $100. Because it was a vintage watch and it was like a rare one. 
I mean, this one's not bad. It says stainless steel Geneva. Water resistant. It's kind of pretty. Here's the band. That's not bad. I don't think it's old, old, but hold on. I'm going to see if it's a wind up. Although I don't know if Geneva ever had wind up watches, but I love them. No. So there it is. Here is a little bead bracelet. And this one is cold. And it has a tree of life. Let me check. I'm going to check these. They're probably glass, but maybe quartz. Um, hold on. Wait, they might not be anything. Okay, it's not moving. I want to make sure my um, gem tester is working okay. One second. All right, this one's going up to Iolite. And then these, I have no idea. So, I'm going to check. So, these are going just above glass. So, if anyone knows what these stones are, let me know. Because I have no idea. I just don't know. Oh, look at this little pin. That one is signed. This one says Kit something. I think it says Kit or Cat. I don't know. I can't read it. That's the back. So that was hand painted. Very nice. I'll have to look that up. Okay, and here is. Oh, there's a like Jewish bracelet. That's cute. And I don't know if it has a name. I look kind of like the Pandora ones, but I don't see anything. But I'll look at that later. Here is the clasp. It's in good shape. So there's that. Here's a little plastic ring. With rhinestones, that's weird. Unusual. So there's that one. All right. Here's another necklace. And this one. Let's see what that says. Is that banana? Wait. What is that? I was going to say Banana Republic, but I don't think it is. Does anyone know what that stands for? Let me know. These are just silver links. But let me know if you know. I don't see anything on the clasp. Very simple. So there's that. I've never seen one like that before. Here's another ring. Ooh, that's sparkly. But it's just a adjustable ring. And it's really worn. That's different. It's fancy. Fancy for an adjustable ring. I'll have to see if I can clean it, but probably not. Because I think it's like copper underneath. Alright, what is this one? 
Here's another Geneva. That's a strange band, but I don't know. I think that's going in the box. That's different. Okay, what else do we have? What am I up to? Oh my gosh, I'm up to an hour. How am I up to an hour? I am just about an hour. I'm going to have to do a part two. I'll be more alive in part two, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, let me connect this. It looks like the ring on the end is gone. But I can put one on. Yeah. Okay, and this one says... What does that say? Chico's. A lot of Chico's tonight. Wait a minute. What is that class? Oh, another class. The same one. Okay. So this is just a double chain necklace. Kind of cute. That's in pretty good shape. It just needs a little ring on the end, which I have. See? Because this is, this is small. It needs a little bit, uh, one that's a little bit bigger. They look bigger through the camera, but. But look at the clasp. So it needs a bigger one. But that's a nice one. I like that. In my opinion, it's nice. All right, I'll do like a couple more pieces and then I'll end this and start a new one. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at this. That's fancy. Hold on, let me clasp it. That's pretty. Wait a minute. That's a little worn. Oh, that's a shame. But look at the band. Those are nice and they're really cold. Yeah, they're glass. I don't know if they're crystal. Oh, that'd be really nice if this wasn't messed up. It just has a few scratches. But if somebody's interested in it, let me know. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I'm looking for a name. Looking for a name. Nothing. But there, oh my gosh, another one. This is what made this box way more. Okay, these are so heavy. <laughs> like why? Why would you put that in the box? Okay, we have another silver tone necklace. And it has a tag. It's probably Chico's. Yep. It just has silver beads and clear. And a silver tone chain. But that's in good shape. This one's pretty long. Let me see how long this is. It really is in good shape. It's probably... 34 inches? I don't know. It's longer than that. It's 40 inches. That's a good one. Cold, too. The beads are kind of cold. So that one's not bad. If anybody likes that, let me know. All right. One more, and then I'm going to end it, and I'll start a new one. Okay, this is just a yellow, I guess that's shell, shell necklace with some gold tone discs, but it doesn't have a tag. I don't know what to think about that. It's not that bad. Wait, I mean, you might love it, but there's a little bit of wear on the clasp, but the chain's okay. So, there it is. 
let me know if you like it. See the clear beads? They're kind of like, they're AB beads, it looks like. And that one's yellow. Look, kind of like an off-white to yellow, like a pale yellow. That's kind of cool. So there's that. All right, actually one more and then I'm done. Okay, here is a knot bracelet. Um, there's a little bit of wear underneath. So that's gone in the box. Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry this was not that exciting, but I will do a part two in a minute. And I'm going to end this here. And I hope everybody has a peaceful rest of the week. And I pray for our world. And just um, stay close to the people you love. And thanks again for watching. Again, let me know. If you like something, put it in the comments. Have a good night, day, whatever. <laughs> Bye.